We have the poppy seed drug test. That's usually not even told in story form, just as like an unsubstantiated rumor. Well, the myth is that eating a couple of poppy seed bagels or poppy seed cake in the morning could cause you to uh, test positive for opiate use on a drug screen. Can eating a bagel make you fail a drugs test? Who better to find out? Only someone as clean living as resident brainiac boffin, John Tickle. Yes, please. I'd like two of your finest bagels, please, with the ones with plenty of poppy seeds on. It might be hard to believe, but scientific research and American lawsuits suggest that eating the seeds of a poppy, the flower from which heroin is made, will produce a positive drugs test. People who eat poppy seed bagels can return results that would even embarrass your average cannabis user. And the theory goes you only have to eat a couple before your drugs test to return a positive result. So what do you think we're going to need for this test? Well, we've got the bagels and we've got some poppy seed bread, it says, and uh, we need containers for urine um, and the drug test kits. That's about it. I have some bagels here. Right. So if you'd like to tuck into those, shall I be mother and pour the tea? That would be very kind of you. Thank Excellent. you. Yes. There you go. Dive in. We want to get loaded. That's what we're going to do. So how long have you been in the church for? Mm -hmm. I'm nearly there, okay? Okay, I'll good. Just a bit more. It's fine work. Have a tea. Oh, lovely, thank you. This is my last piece. Excellent. The poppy seeds definitely have morphine and codeine in them, so they are the heroin poppy seeds. But they are very low concentrations, so you don't get the you know, physical and, and mental effects from them. It's now half an hour since we started eating poppy seeds. Time for our second test. I have a little receptacle in this bag. Right. I think you can guess what I'm going to ask you to do. I think I can. Well, there you go. Well, I'll go to another room if that's okay. Okay, please do. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry to keep you waiting, John, but oh, that's fine. there's the sample you need. Well, thanks very much indeed. You're welcome. Now all I have to do is take the sample down to the lab, and we should have the results in about 24 hours. This may be a positive right here. Kind of looks that way. That's amazing. <clears throat> That's impressively fast. I've just tested positive for opiates. Whoops. Huh. No one expected that. Now we'll see how long it lasts. Wow, I'm impressed that it's metabolized that fast. I wouldn't have called that. Yeah, I wouldn't either. So, what's the verdict? Do you think it's a myth or is it true? Oh, it's clearly true. Uh, you know, we, we ate a normal amount of poppy seed bagels and, uh, and poppy seed products and and they, they, and they showed positive on the test. I have the results. Would you like to open them? I would very much, yes. Excellent. Yes. Right. What do we have? Well, amphetamines, it's negative. Cocaine is negative. But I've got to say opiates, it says presumptive positive. Oh, dear. How yeah. do you feel about that? Well, um, that's quite worrying, isn't it? That's an interesting result, yes. And simply from eating poppy seeds. Well, certainly I didn't take any drugs, I can tell you. Well, that's good news. Well, there you have it. Unbelievable. Just two poppy seed bagels can make you fail a drugs test. Remember, kids, just say no. I've heard about this before, everyone's heard about this before, that a poppy seed bagel could make you test positive for drugs, but I never thought that it would actually happen. It happened to this woman. Uh, her name is Elizabeth Mort, and after she tested positive for drugs, uh, her three-day-old baby daughter was taken away from her by Child Protective Services. This is little baby Isabella, five months old this week. The ACLU lawsuit says it was poppy seeds on a bagel her mom, Elizabeth Mort, had eaten that triggered a false positive on a Jameson Hospital drug test. 
The ACLU says the hospital reported the mother to Lawrence County Children and Youth Services, which showed up at the family's home days after Isabella's birth and took the mom's baby away. I was devastated. I just cried and cried and cried. I didn't want to let her go. I really didn't. Um, I was heartbroken. I watched them leave the driveway and I ran upstairs. But they want to make sure that the nightmare that they experienced never happens to another parent. This is the KN reagent test. Oregano. This is a green leafy substance often confused with marijuana. What we found actually of the 43 substances we tested, 70% of the time it gave a false positive. This is just outrageous. The next up on our experiments here is chocolate. We have found is that all of these chocolate products will test positive for marijuana. Doesn't take very much of a sample. That looks like a false positive to me. How about you guys? Would you agree? This is close enough, probably in the eyes of an officer, to give to render a false positive. These uh, these women basically test positive for things like marijuana, and immediately, without any further investigation, their children get taken away from them. In terms of policy recommendations, it's real simple. One, no one should be using these faulty uh, field drug tests that were going to be experimenting on today. Uh, they should be thrown out, junked, not purchased, and the company that's producing them should be probably put out of business. You know, in our society, we have the principle that you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, and these tests uh, have really kind of put that on its head. After they test positive for the drugs, there's no investigation following that, okay? Child Protective Services, you know, gets this information about the drug test and about how the, woman, uh, the women fail, and as soon as they get that information, they go in and they take the children without any investigation. They had told me that they were, um, they were going to be taking my son. This is Eileen Bauer. She is reliving what she calls a humiliating moment. The call came from CYS one day after giving birth inside Jameson Hospital. Her son Brandon was taken from her after she was told she tested positive for drugs. Her reaction? How? Could this be possible? Um, for somebody to tell me that I'm an unfit mother, that I take drugs, that, you know, there's all these allegations against me, it was kind of like really damaging. She had received numerous drug tests, everything negative, no history of drugs, period. On the date this happened, she went to a barbecue, and the only thing that she could have even possibly eaten that even contained uh, something that would give her a positive result would have been uh, an item called Salad Supreme, which uh, contained uh, at least some, some poppy seeds. Stanley Booker is Bauer's attorney. He believes the opiates were traced to the salad mixture Bauer used in a Linguini salad for a cookout the day she went into labor. They're furious because the traces were so low, they were below the minimal reference level. But Stanley says CYS took Brandon from his mother anyway. That doesn't make any sense. They're only allowed to take children away from their parents if the parents pose uh, a real danger, a real threat, if they are in imminent harm. And these kids weren't. But Child Protective Services didn't know that because they didn't investigate it. And that's crazy. And, now, to be a little fair, though, what if one of those poppy seeds got in the kid's eye? Did you think about that? Oh, I yeah. didn't. That's a good point, Jank. Always thinking about all yeah. the different angles. <laughs> Classic, most common chocolate bar on Earth, probably. So here we go on the Hershey's bar. Another false positive. No one should be using these faulty uh, field drug tests. Uh, they should be thrown out, junked. So in our society, we have the principle that you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. And these tests uh, have really kind of put that on its head. No one should be using these faulty uh, field drug tests. Uh, they should be thrown out, junked. No one should be using these faulty uh, field drug tests. Uh, they should be thrown out.